This is the all new, first of its kind, mass production, fully electric vehicle Toyota has introduced and they're sharing it off the same vehicle scheme as the Subaru Satora, in which you're gonna have a lot of the same similarities, but Toyota has a little bit different. You have to option all wheel drive, it'll be standard on the Subaru. We have the two-tone because this is the limited for the BZ4X, which will give you the gloss black in the front and on the rear with the roof rails and the mirror caps. Optioning the limited will lose a little bit of range, maxing out at 242 miles. A very similar stance in the front as the crown. The only major difference is that grill is not gonna have the grill pattern. You'll still receive the front and rear parking sensors with the 360 degree reverse camera. Underneath the hood, it will look like a traditional vehicle. Outside the XLE will have a bi-LED headlamp assembly. Whereas when you get into the limited, you get a quad LED headlight assembly. On the lower, you'll have a functioning curtain. The gloss black wraps underneath with 8.1 inches of clearance. Both the XLE and the Limited will receive the 74.6 lithium ion battery pack, producing 201 horsepower and 196 pound-feet of torque. Another difference will be the wheels. When you option the XLE, it's an 18-inch alloy. When you option the Limited, it's a 20-inch machine finish multi-spoke with the gray inserts alloy wheel. Same suspension setup, a McPherson strut front suspension with the stabilizer bar. The rear is a multi-link with the stabilizer bar. 184.6 inches long. Charging times start at 9.5 hours on a level two. Quick charge on a DC with 150 watt is gonna take about 30 minutes. If you do a level one or a 120 volt, you're looking at 50 hours roughly. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that but it's gonna tick the box for an everyday use EV because you're getting more or less the same charging times. The difference here is it looks more rugged and performance driven than a Volkswagen, than even a Tesla. Driving mode select will add your eco, normal, and your regenerative brake with boost, with standard LED tail lamps. Ducktail rear spoiler with the split rear spoiler roof which is an option for the limited trim in which I would do so because it's an EV. You want it to look as futuristic as possible because you have a lot of similarity into the rear, which will mimic the Crown, the Prius, and obviously the Subaru. It can tow up to 1,500 pounds. Power lift gate going into 29.8 cubic feet. We have a privacy cover. Interior lights will be LED, the JBL subwoofer underneath will have some storage this can convert to give you an extra two to four inches of depth split fold the rear bench at a 40 60 split and that will increase cargo to a max of 38.8 cubic feet it functions similar to a hatchback picked up so it's a wide opening and it's a low opening so it makes clearance easy to put any objects inside entering inside the all-new bz4x Headroom will start at 38.6 inches, legroom at 42.1 inches. The new open air concept that comes into these vehicles just makes it a lot more spacious and they give an 80s vibe from the Prius steering wheel and the dashboard. It's the soft materials with the upgraded JBL 9 speaker sound system with a subwoofer and an amplifier with a similar setup as the Prius gauge cluster that's going to be attached to the three-spoke steering wheel. It's a multi-function, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, the stocks, and you get that cloth pattern that goes all the way behind the 12.3 touchscreen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio, Wi-Fi hotspot, push it into reverse, 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory to put the lines on or have the lines off in different camera positions. Eco mode, snow mode, and if you need to click on the 3D view or the bird's eye view, you can pause it and you can expand it. Dual climate control, heated steering wheel, 
push button start with the air vents that's in sync with the infotainment and the gloss black that runs into the wireless charging pad and a USB. I like the way this is because it has a little pattern. You can see cup holders is where we are housing the key fob. Going to be more soft for your arms. Open up inside and it's a medium sized storage pocket. 7 inch multi information display for the driver which means you can toggle through any different settings for your adaptive cruise control your trip obviously, different safety features, any messages for the vehicle. The door panels and the dash integrate into itself making a circular design. The gloss black comes into play, one touch up and down for the windows, saw for your rest your arms, and a storage pocket with a couple of beverage holders. The BZ4X optimizes space with a pass-through with two more USB-C ports, a 12 volt and a storage pocket right above it with dual moon roofs. For the back seat, headroom is at 37.1 inches, legroom at 35.3 inches, heated rear seats, two USB-C ports, air vents in the center with storage behind both of the front seats. The door panel receives the same materials that's in the front, so it's gonna be soft for your rest your arms, and the storage pocket can fit a couple of beverage. Sitting into the center, headroom is still not necessarily an issue. It's kind of carved out for me so it makes it a little bit easier. Leg space is perfectly fine. I will share feet, butt, and shoulder space, but for the most part, I have everything cut out to make it easier for three occupants to fit in the back. 125 MPGEs for the city, 103 MPGEs for the highway. Turn radius to start off the review is about two lanes. Let's rock and roll. and the brakes. We got good regenerative braking going on right there. Now, yes, it doesn't have 200 pound-feet of torque. However, it's instant. So it's gonna feel more like a 250 to 300 and pushing you back. Front wheel drive, so it could get a little tire happy. But for the most part, you sit up good. Even with 20 inch wheels, you don't feel too many imperfections in the road. It's quiet, even at a higher speed. It's an all EV, so you're not gonna be hearing any of that engine. Now that's gonna take me to some things I like and dislike, and starting off is what I like about the all new BZ4X. The interior, they nailed it. They got the same Prius design, especially for the driver cockpit section. You got a larger screen, so everything is eye length, and you've also received Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which is the most updated safety technology for Toyota. The second thing that I like about the vehicles, when you option the limited trim, you get that two-tone and you can option that split rear spoiler. So it makes it look futuristic at any angle you look at it. And this is an EV, so I hate to say it, but you kind of want it to look like a spaceship in some aspects. The last thing that I like about the vehicle is in the cargo, you still have optimal space. We're gonna to get to that in a second. The last thing that I like is in the cargo. You have optimal storage space because we do not receive a frunk, so underneath it you get another storage nook. Plus you can lower the floor about four inches to give you more height, and the bumper isn't outward so much. So loading things in, it's kind of like a hatchback just set up a little bit because of the clearance being over eight inches, but it's still doable. Three things I dislike, we don't receive a frunk. Electric vehicles, you have to have as much storage capacity to offset not having a combustion engine in which they don't give it to you. When you get into the Volkswagen ID4, it's very similar. You're not gonna have much. Even on the EV6, you get maybe a bookshelf. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is if you go into Subaru, standard all-wheel drive. Obviously, it's a few thousand dollars more, but when you go into Toyota, you have to pay more for it. The last thing that I dislike about the vehicle is it's the same suspension setup whether you go XLE or limited. And I understand it's a few thousand dollar difference and really you're just going for the upgrades, but it would be nice that they would alter it to give the sports tuned suspension instead of the standard McPherson Strut Multi-Link. It's nice to see that they're going to mass produce this particular vehicle for EVs. Because when I get calls from friends, they're always like, what do you think, an EV, a plug-in, what should I do? 
I usually tell people to go to plugins only because my personal daily use, if I was to travel to say Virginia, I live in the state of Florida, there's areas I wouldn't be able to charge in which I would have to stay at a hotel maybe a night or two to get to the destination. Even if I was to travel past Virginia and go to New York, I've done that a few times, or even go to Texas, which is across. Either way, both sides has areas that do not have full charging ports in which you'd have to stop maybe a night, two to three nights in some areas just to get to the next area so you can go to your destination. So for me, I'm not all in for EVs, but if you're using it locally and it's not something that you're going to commute commute outside the state, it's definitely a great alternative because you will save. 240 mile range is more than enough. An 80% charge of that, you're still right around 200 miles. Even in the heat of Florida, you should still get about 180 miles, which is gonna take you to work and back, even if you're going or commuting from Tampa to Orlando. So this is something that, again, if you're doing things local, as for the interior specs, I think they blew it out of the water. The open air concept, this is something that a lot of the vehicles are doing because it gives you more interior space and it feels wider, even though it's not so wide on the exterior. I'd like to thank Stadium Toyota for giving us this 2023 Toyota BZ4X Limited for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the next video in the subscribe button, check out the merchandise website, Instagram, leave a comment and a like.